Hey, what's up everybody? So I have this bin right here called Boris Glow EFX for short for effects that you could download in the description below and you can use any of these effects as long as you have Boris Continuum complete. I think any version, it's definitely backwards compatible. This is an older version, so that should be good for anybody with the newest versions of Boris. If they do work for you, great. If it crashes your computer, I extremely, extremely apologize. Just throw it away and forget this ever happened. But let's talk about these four sequences right here. So the way I like to put on glows onto any sort of clip or effect that I'm using, I will cut them onto V2 on the higher level. Let's say we wanted to cut from this woman running to the audience. You could, I guess, in theory, you could add edit, drag the Boris Glow effect, put your effects on it, this, that. I like to do it on the level above. Um, Premiere people, this is an adjustment layer. Basically, every layer is already an adjustment layer in Avid, which is kind of a really cool thing about Avid. So I have this uh, sequence right here. I have a glow. I call it glare up, down. It's going to be a light glow up, and then this clip here is a light glow down. They're both five frames. So what I would do in this case, I would take go to the cut and I would go back five frames, one, two, three, four, five. I'm hitting number three on my keyboard. Make sure you're in and out of selected up top here because what happens sometimes, it'll get stuck. It'll think you're only on one clip, right? One of the two clips. So I have my in and out selected of the whole thing. I'm pressing in and there it is. There's the in to out. So let me render that. I think glow, glow transitions, glow effects need to be subtle. It does not need to go up to the point, and I think I made one at the top here, where it, it you know, it's blinding your eye with the glow. It is a strobe light that hurts you for a second. It shouldn't have to be, to me, I don't like that very much. I think it's actually, you. it feels to me like even, maybe I did this when I first started, but it's someone that's just starting out and has like a Boris effects package, and now they're using the glow effect, and it's so pronounced, and it's the hugest glow you ever need. But you don't need that. You need a nice, subtle glow. So these right here, these four ones I gave you, to me, they're very subtle. So we'll go over what's in them in a second, but here's the... Right, and if I go really slow, it's not going up to the point of white covering the whole frame. It's a subtle glow to the top, and then it's a subtle glow coming down here. In this case, it's five frames. You could make it longer. Now, I could make it longer just by extending out the clip. Again, really cool way to adjust something. So when I gave them to you here, they're five frames, but if you just want to extend one out to the left, extend one out to the right, now you're going to have a much slower, longer glow. Right? So I'm in this case, I'm going to go back to the way it was. I like those little quick pop glows. Here's another one that I made. This one I call glow white light up down. And this one is not five frames on each side. This one is three frames with the white glow going up and six frames with it going down. And I just want the, the screen to hit for that second, right? It's a really subtle, just a little pop, right? It's really subtle. Here, I have another one here called glow down flare. And this is five frames. I think I put it right here. You can barely see it. If I go through slow here, so because it depends, it's using the color information underneath. So in this case, this flare, you see the 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 sort of the red in the floor gets glowed and then it goes down. But now if I go to like say this one, which has a lot of brightness, a lot of whiteness to it, it's the same effect, but you see how white this section got because it's using the color information there, it's using the brightness to green so in this case it's like a little way too glowy for me but what would I do here I would move up even without going into the effect mode I would make my in a little different maybe I want to make my glow start there and I would copy and source into the monitor I have video on that and it would extend it out and now it's not as even maybe maybe do it a little less so I'm basically picking up the glow at the later point um, where the glow is not so pronounced and see how I did that without even going into effect mode so you want to be careful right you just want to make sure I don't like when glows cut off so in that case you know without going into effect mode I can even put a dissolve on it 
Um, to me, that's a really amateur move, too. When the glow cuts off, it doesn't slowly dissolve out. So, in theory, the threshold didn't get down to zero. Hard to, might be hard to tell in the YouTube. But here's another example here where I have these shots. And I'm going to do a glare up, down. Bang. I have a really quick glow transition. It is still a little too pronounced for me. I'm not going to change it and again. So that's a personal preference. But let's go in there and see what, you know, hey, you want to make it obviously whatever you want. Ultimately, you can change it whichever way you want. So let's go in here and see this. So if I have the effect editor here. So what's going to happen here is all these have keyframes, right? So the keyframe here, the threshold is at 22. Excuse me, the intensity. I did the intensity on this one. So the keyframe here, the glow intensity, is at zero. And then it moves up, in this case, to 127. If I wanted to move it up farther, like I said, I don't like when glows go that go that high. Or bring it down here, right? I like it a little subtle. Right? And then on the way down, we had a keyframe here. The glow intensity was at 100. And then it went to zero. Right? So you can actually see it frame by frame. The glow is getting lighter and lighter. The other things you can mess with in here, and obviously you can mess with everything. Uh, you can use sort of this width to give it sort of a vertical or horizontal, you know, effect. I really try not to mess around with too much of that stuff, although I should do a session where I come up with new ones. But here's the big thing for me and Boris. So you can, you can use blending modes, and you're going to get a really different look based on what blending mode you use. In this case, I use screen. Again, that subtle idea, that idea of a subtle glow. And even if you wanted to, you didn't even have keyframes, you can come up with a look. Think of a music video where you could do something funky like this for three frames at a time in between shots, right? And that's what a lot of people are doing now with the RGB shifters and stuff. But you can sort of simulate that by using uh, this glow with the different modes. So same thing, the first one, we have a keyframe. In this case, there's no glow intensity because this is the old glow OBS, which means obsolete, but it still works. It's still fine. It's basically Boris is saying this is these are obsolete effects we don't keep anymore. In theory, we have new better ones, but if this one works, why not keep using it? I see, right. There was, the threshold was 100, and it went down to 43. And in, in this case, we're going down here, and we have a keyframe here at 65. In this case, I would probably move it up a little bit, right? And then it goes back to one, 100, meaning, I guess, in a sense, there's no threshold. You could do it with the intensity probably, too. So these are sliders you just want to mess around with. Do whatever you want with these effects. But like I said, this is how I would do it. If I had some sort of quick cut, it's got to be on the air and in, in 20 minutes or something, but it needs a little some little glow uh, transitions to get through from one place to another again i'm just grabbing my already sequences that i already have made cutting them on the right spot let's say this one i want to have an uh one that's going down here right and this is a longer white one that goes down that's this down nice light and if for some reason i wanted to adjust it i would go in the keyframe and mess around with the threshold Maybe the intensity, right? It's way too bright for my liking. I don't like that. There you go. Something like that, right? So again, this bin right here is in the description. Use it any way you want to. Adjust those ones you want. Just double click them into the source monitor and put them over a cut and render and you should be good to go. If this crashes your computer, I want to apologize profusely. And what about drinking beer? That's the that's even more important than any Boris glow effect you'll ever make in your life. I am going to drink this weekend Lagunitas Daytime IPA. It has low calories. And I'm trying to lose weight because Thanksgiving and Christmas I drink heavily. And, and those calories add up. So I'm going to enjoy that. And I hope you have a great weekend. And please subscribe to this channel so more people will get more quick tips like this. So they'll be able to edit faster. So they have time to drink more beer. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.